Long time no see everyone, it's your old mate Chicagon back at it again. This time with something a little bit interesting and a bit exciting too. A bit of a Yoji Yamamoto take on a Rick Owens staple. Now if you're enjoying the content as always don't forget to like and subscribe and comments are very, very much appreciated but let's get to it. So Rick Owens, the fashion prince of darkness, we all love what Rick does and what Rick has done over the many, many years he's been in the industry and every year putting out collection upon collection, iterating, reiterating, bringing something new to the table all the time. A really, really lovely designer. I do like them a lot and have made a few videos regarding their shoes in the past. This shoe, the Geo Basket, more specifically the short tongue Geo Basket with the shorter tongue here, is one of the Rick Owens staple sneakers. They've been around for quite a long time, originating as the Dunks, now known as the Giro Basket. They are a staple silhouette of the whole Rick vibe and year upon year, new materials, new colorways of these are coming out. Short tongues though, will we see them come back? I don't know. However, on my marketplace adventures in Japan, I came across something really interesting. It was a pair of Yoji Yamamoto sneakers and they looked very similar to the Geo Basket. And, and I want to preface something. Yoji archive things are very difficult to find. I haven't really found any sort of a database for them. So searching up the style code for said shoe didn't bring back any results except for the marketplace posting for said pair of shoes. So I just had to pick them up. I wanted them in hand. I wanted to see what they were like. It said that they were a size four and I'm a size three in Yoji thing. So I was thinking, oh, that would be really, really cool if they fit and they arrived. Let me present to you the Yojio Basketamoto. <laughs> the Yoji Jiro Basket. Now, you might be able to tell this is a very, very small shoe, size four. It is not, well, at least it's not a size four in Yoji standards, but this, but this is the shoe. It looks like it's, it's basically just leather all in the upper. The laces look like they've been replaced as they're a lot cleaner than the sole, which is actually even going a little bit yellow, which is very, very normal for Rick pieces to go. And I can't believe it. Disappointing that they don't fit. They are tiny. They are very, very small and I can't even get my foot nearly in them. However, it's really, really fascinating to have this shoe. Here is the sole. I'll grab the other one as well. Here are the soles. Very, very standard waffle sole often seen in shoes like Vans. And as well as that, yeah, like the whole bottom part does look like a Vans sole. The midsole, I think it's called. Yeah, it's interesting. But then you have these, you know, the oversized tongue, You've got the little ribbed parts here that uh, just scream Geo Basket. Here's a Geo Basket for comparison. And what's interesting is that they're basically the same height of the top of the shoe with the same three tiers of ribs there. We can see the back here is a little bit different. They do not have this little, I don't know what you'd call it, line down the bottom there. And also the Yoji shoe has this paneling down the back there too. It's different, but they're just so similar. They're just so similar. Like I, I cannot believe it. Here we have a look at the top as well. They are just quite nice. Honestly, I am very impressed. I'm not sure the type of leather that's in these. It doesn't actually have much information. Yoji shoes rarely say any information on the inside. In fact, what this does say, I can't really get a good shot of it because it's like, it's like in there. Got the number four and then MM20A1. And then we've got Yoji branding in there. It says Yoji Yamamoto made in Japan Fabric or Japon, Hapon. So made in Japan as well. They're in pretty good condition. The, a little bit of heel drag, some dinks here and there, but overall, Really, really impressed with the shoe. Some more comparisons. Eyelet wise, we have seven on the Geo Basket and seven on the Yojio. 
I don't know what to call it. There is no name for it. I like calling it the Yojio though. It's funny. <laughs> Looking at the toe boxes, they are quite different here. The Yojio does feel, it feels more like a regular sneaker than like a designer Rick Owens Geo basket. And my friend Corwin made a good point saying that the Yojio is pretty cool because it doesn't go so far as to being full designer. Maybe you can only really style it with designer things, but it bridges the gap the in-between, so to speak, between the more casual straight Converse and the high-end Rick Owens. It fits in that in-between with the premium leather upper and having more well-known parts like this midsole that does look like a Vans paneling that is a bit more common. So this shoe could be more versatile to wear with any sort of fit. You could really, really dress this down and really, really dress it up should you want to and get away with a lot of things there. Not everyone wants to spend hundreds upon hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds upon hundreds, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and on a pair of geos these i'm not sure how much they did cost initially yoji shoes are varied sneaker wise they can be very expensive however these are a few years old at the very least i've never seen a pair like them so so sizing wise these are listed as a four definitely don't fit me measuring them from Top to bottom, we're looking at 26 centimeters there. And then max width, we're looking at about nine centimeters there. So all up, I would say that these are actually, because the 26 centimeters, no one's foot's gonna go all the way like front end in the shoe. I would give a bit off, maybe say like a 24 centimeter, 23 centimeter. What's the conversion for that? Let's check in on this. Okay, so we're looking at a US women's six, or seven. So something like a Europe 37 and a Europe 38 for this shoe. It's just fascinating. I cannot believe that these are a thing. I can't believe how similar they look to a Geo Basket. I can't believe that it's a Vans like sole just on the bottom of what seems to be a Geo Basket upper. It's fascinating. I wish there was more information on these because they're just a really, really cool looking shoe. I wish that they fit. That's what I wish. I wish that they fit because I would definitely wear these because it's just, I don't know, I like the all black colorway as well. I really like the Rick Owens Ramones that do not have the toe cap. I think they're the vegan ones. I like how that looks. It looks quite sleek and just, yeah, what a shoe. Really, really cool. Here's some B-roll. Alright, so this is the Yojio Basket Emoto, the Yoji Geo Basket. I just I just really like saying Yojio, can you tell? Uh, I hope you've enjoyed the video. It's been interesting to actually have these in hand. It's a shame that I can't put them on. But if you are interested, I will be putting these up for sale because they deserve to go to someone that is actually going to wear them and appreciate them. And I don't want them just sitting here. I don't know. I don't know. I don't, like I want someone to really, I want someone to appreciate these for what they are. And I have stuffed them with some bubble wrap because they came a bit sort of scrunched up. So the shape isn't great. And hopefully this will bring the shape back. But Yojios, what a time. So thanks so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you're taking care of yourselves out there. Have fun, be safe. 
And as always, don't do anything I'd do, except try and find out more about these because we need to we need to figure this out because because there's a story here. There is a story here. All right. Until next time. Bye bye.